I've got colors of dreams that one of them you may see in your dreams because when you dream, you dream as if you are experiencing life in reality. So in places that you go to, there are colors that dominate in your dreams. So I want to address those colors in your dreams. Number one, like I said, I've got of them that I'm going to share with you and they are significant many. Number one, I'm going to talk about red. When you see red in your dreams, just know that there are some warnings that God is trying to give you. One of them, it might be that there is danger coming ahead of you. You need to watch. You need to check. You need to be prayerful. You may see death because red, it stands for danger. Another thing, it may be a sinful characters or habits that you have, you know. And another thing, it might be that the decisions that you are about to take, you need to be very careful. So whenever you see this color red, just know that there is something that God is trying to communicate or there is a danger coming ahead of you. So you need to pray. You need to pray. When we go to the book of Isaiah chapter 1, verse number 18, the Bible says, Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Meaning to say, there might be a sin in your life, maybe that may lead you into destruction. You need to check when God shows you that you have that dream and inside your dream you see that the red color is dominating. In other areas, it may also have a significant meaning that there is a redemption that is about to take place in your life. Like Jesus Christ, when he shed his blood, the blood is red. It may also represent redemption, that you want to be redeemed from certain danger that is taking place. Also, the, like I also mentioned, that there might be a sinful nature in your life that needs to be cleansed. Let's read 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 7. It says what? That the genuineness of your faith being much more precious than God that perishes, though it is tested by fire, may be found to praise honor and glory glory at the revelation of Jesus. Our faith has to be perfected and purified more than God. So when I say that sometimes God may use fire to purify us, like God, it has to go through the process. It has to be purified. So even as God may use the tests of trials in life so that he can purify us, he can strengthen us. He can build us. Our faith has to be tested so that our faith can be reliable in God. Number two, we are talking about the color of yellow. When you see yellow color in your dream, yellow signifies vitality, happiness, optimism, and enlightenment, cheerfulness, and creativity. Okay, Malachi 4, verse number 2. It says what? But to you who fear my name, the son of righteousness shall arise with healing in his wings, and you shall go out and grow fat like stole fade calves. When you dream of yellow, it means that God is bringing healing in your life because that color, it means happiness is coming green. God is taking you to a place of refreshment, restoration, new growth, flourishing. When we check the book of Psalm 23, verse number 2, what does the Bible say? He makes me to lie down in green pastures. Green, we're talking about green. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. Genesis 1, verse 30. Also to every beast of the earth, to every bed of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth, in which there is life. I have given every green herb for food, and it was so. Now, green, it means that harvest is coming. Green in your dream, it means that a bumper harvest. It means fruitfulness. There is going to be 
you know, refreshment as well. There is going to be a new beginning, a new beginning. So the moment you see that green color is dominating in your dream, just know that something new is about to happen. Harvest is coming. Something that you have invested into something, it is about to come. It is about to show up. So God says that, he, David said, he leads me beside the still waters. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. Freshness, it means freshness. Something fresh is going to show up in your life when you see that in your dream, there is a green that is dominating. Number four, blue. Blue represents the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit. When you see blue, it means that God is around you. God is in your life. The power of the presence and the presence of the Holy Spirit is available around you. All you need to do is to acknowledge. Open your spiritual eye and ear so that you can hear whenever he speaks or he talks to you. Because when you see the sky is blue, right? It means what? That blue color, it represents the presence of God. I'll give you the scripture so that you understand. Hmm? John chapter 16, verse number 3. Jesus said, however, when he, meaning the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will tell you things to come. You may lose direction somewhere, maybe you're confused the direction, you don't know what to do, where to go, and uh, in a relationship maybe things are not going on well, and you are kind of confused, you need direction. That's why the, the Bible says what? The Holy Spirit is the comforter, the counselor, the mediator. Meaning Jesus, he is there around you. All you need to do is learn how to communicate and how to speak with him. So whenever you are in a dream and you see that the blue color is dominating, just know that there is the presence of the Holy Spirit and the power. It also means the leading of the Holy Spirit because he will guide you into all truth. He will lead you. Remember the scripture that we read in the green color? He says what? He leads me beside the still waters. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. So in, the, in, the, in, in this blue color also, this Holy Spirit will lead you. It is God who leads you. So the presence of the Holy Spirit is the presence of God in your life. So when you see the color of blue dominating in your life, just know that there is a presence of the Holy Spirit and the power, and there's a leading of the Holy Spirit in your life. So learn how to communicate with him. Learn how to, you know, commune with the Holy Spirit. He will guide you into all truth. So Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Speak to the children of Israel. Tell them to make tassels on the corners of their garments throughout their great generation and to put a blue thread in the tassels of their corners. Now, it means that Moses was taught by God that I want you to tell the children, uh, to the children of Israel to, to, to make a tassel, but you must tell them to put a specific color that is blue. Meaning to say the presence of God is with us. So even whenever you put on your clothes, you need to check the colors that you put on your clothes because those colors that you put on your body, they have significant meaning. So what is your favorite color? So you need to find out the meaning of your favorite color. What does that favorite color of yours mean? So this is the children of Israel. They are instructed by Moses to put on the tassels and they put specific color, blue. Blue meaning to say, I am with you. Remember Jesus, when he was, he was born, he was given the name Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God with us. God with us. So God was with them. So that blue color means God is with them.